What's up everybody, Luis here with Lone Depot. And today we're focusing on a remarkable opportunity, the Department of Veteran Affairs Guaranteed Home Loan, also known as the VA Home Loan for short. Now, this isn't just any loan, it's a super loan, which is why I wanna talk about it. This super loan outshines all other loans out there in terms of affordability and versatility. And this is exclusive to our men and women who served in the United States Marines. I'm so sorry, in the United States military. I'm a little biased being a Marine myself. United States military. And this includes active duty, reservist, veterans, and surviving spouses. So if you fall into any of these categories, this home loan is your golden ticket to home ownership. All right. Now, firstly, let's clarify who this loan is for. It's exclusively for active duty and reserve service members, veterans and surviving spouses. This means you can't use a family member's VA loan to buy your own home. It has to be your own service that qualifies you. Now onto affordability, because many of you know that the VA loan has a, no, a zero, I was going to say no money down, same thing, zero down option. And it's one of the few loans out there that, that provide this option. Now the, Depar the Department of Veteran Affairs guarantees, or the VA guarantees 25% of your loan in case of default. And that's where that zero down comes from. They're essentially your safety net. And that's what makes this loan so incredibly accessible. Now let's talk about credit because that's a very important aspect. Now the minimum FICO score for VA loans is generally around 620, but it can go as low as 580 on a case by case basis. Now this flexibility is a huge advantage. Now rates are probably not gonna be as sharp at 580. So ideally you want your FICO score to be around 640. Now, let's talk about monthly payments because this is huge. VA loans often result in lower payments compared to other loan types, thanks to the competitive interest rates and no private mortgage insurance requirements. Remember, with conventional loans, you typically need to put down at least 20% to avoid PMI, which that number can add up significantly every month to, your, uh, to that monthly payment. Now, another crucial aspect of the VA loan, and not a lot of people talk about this, is its assumability. Say you find another fellow veteran that is selling their home with a very, very low interest rate. And we, we know that, that that's the case right now. Now, you as a veteran can assume this loan, taking advantage of that great rate. So you end up with that, with that low rate. This process involves using your own eligibility to free up the seller's eligibility, allowing both parties to obviously benefit. Also, many of you might not know this, but the VA loan can be used for investment properties with a catch, of course. Now, you move into your property and you first establish a property as a primary residence for at least 12 months. After that, you can go ahead and rent it out and purchase another property, in some cases with a VA home loan using your bonus entitlement. Now, a lot of people talk about the funding fee. Oh, it's so expensive. Well, yes, it is. It's a fee applied into the loan. You can finance that. You can roll it into the loan. And this is this fee's there to keep this program alive. It's what keeps it going. And that way you can help future, uh, future veterans. Now, quick caveat. If you have a service-related disability rating of 10% or more, um, this fee is waived. So you don't even have to worry about it. Now let's get back to talking about using your VA loan for investment purposes, because I want you to imagine this. You're a service member looking to invest in real estate, but how do you get started? Well, use your VA home loan because you can purchase a four unit property, okay? Live in one of them and then rent out the other three. And you can use that rental income to qualify for the loan. Now, this strategy can really set you up for a long-term financial success. I want to talk about and highlight the VA Streamline refinance option as well. If the interest rates drop, then you can quickly and easily refinance to a lower rate. And this is going to reduce your monthly payments. Now, you don't need an appraisal completed and you don't even need to verify your income. Uh, we do need to verify employment, but that's it. So you don't have to go through the hassle of providing W-2s and all that stuff. It's very easy to do. It's very streamlined. And with that, I want to end that the VA home loan 
isn't just a loan. It's a pathway to home ownership and financial stability. And it's specifically designed for our nation's heroes. Those that sign on the line, which was dotted. Who remembers maps? I remember it. Veterans, whether you're looking to buy your first home, invest in real estate, or simply find a more affordable mortgage option, the VA home loan could be that answer. Fellow veterans, thank you for watching this video. And if you found this information helpful, share it, please. Share it with our other fellow veterans. Let's help each other out. And uh, if you need to share your thoughts on this, comment below. If you have any questions, reach out, okay? That is all I have, and I'll see you on the next video.